Welcome to another training module from Cloud Masters Inc. And in this session, we would be looking at Terraform best practices for infrastructure as code, IAC. Module one, introduction to Terraform. What is Terraform? Terraform is an open source tool developed by HashiCorp for building, changing, and versioning infrastructure efficiently and safely. It uses a declarative configuration language called HashiCorp Configuration Language, HCL, where you define what your infrastructure should look like rather than the steps to achieve it. Why Terraform? Multi-cloud support? Terraform can manage infrastructure across multiple cloud providers such as AWS, Azure, GCP, and even on-prem resources. Declarative syntax, instead of scripting every action, like in imperative systems, you define the desired state and Terraform ensures it matches that state. State management. Terraform maintains a state file that represents your infrastructure, tracking the resources you've provisioned and their configurations. Terraform architecture providers. Terraform uses providers to interact with APIs of cloud providers like AWS, Azure, etc. Each provider must be configured to enable Terraform to provision and manage resources. State files. Terraform stores its knowledge of the infrastructure in state files. This is key to managing infrastructure consistently. Plan and apply lifecycle. The Terraform workflow involves first generating an execution plan, Terraform plan, reviewing it, and then applying, Terraform apply, the changes. Terraform versus other IAC tools. Comparing Terraform with tools like AWS CloudFormation, Ansible, and ARM templates will help attendees understand where Terraform stands out, especially in terms of flexibility, scalability, and multi-cloud support. Installing Terraform. Step-by-step -step guide to installing Terraform on Windows, Linux, and macOS. The use of version managers like TFNV ensures teams can work with different versions of Terraform without conflicts. Terraform workflow. Basic workflow includes writing configuration files, main.tf, running Terraform plan to preview the changes, and Terraform apply to execute them. Hands-on exercise, create your first Terraform configuration to deploy simple resources such as an AWS EC2 instance. Module 2. Understanding Terraform Resources and Providers Terraform Resources Resources are the fundamental building blocks of Terraform. Each resource represents an infrastructure component, like an AWS EC2 instance, GCP Compute Engine, etc. Best practices include using resource naming conventions, tagging resources for easy management, and organizing your Terraform files logically. Creating reusable resource modules allows teams to standardize infrastructure components and use them across different projects. Terraform providers. Providers are responsible for managing external APIs, e.g. AWS, Azure. Proper provider configuration is critical, especially when working with multiple accounts or regions. Aliasing providers allows for the creation of resources across multiple environments or cloud providers in a single configuration file. Modules and DRI principle Terraform encourages creating reusable modules. A module is a container for multiple resources that are used together. This practice adheres to the DRI, don't repeat yourself, principle, reducing repetition in your configuration. Hands-on exercise. Create a module that provisions a virtual private cloud, VPC, EC2 instance, and other related resources. Module 3, Managing Terraform, State Understanding. Terraform State Terraform keeps track of the deployed resources in a state file. The state allows Terraform to map real-world resources to your configuration and keep track of metadata like resource dependencies. A state file is essential for ensuring that future plan and apply operations can detect changes between your configuration and the real-world infrastructure. You need to ensure your state file is secure and versioned, as losing or corrupting it can lead to serious infrastructure issues. Remote state management. Instead of storing the state file locally, 
it's better to store it in a remote backend like AWS S3 or Google Cloud Storage. This ensures that teams can collaborate safely. Use encryption and state locking to ensure the security and consistency of the state file during concurrent access. State manipulation, importing resources. You can import existing infrastructure into Terraform, allowing it to manage resources that weren't initially created using Terraform. Moving resources between state files is useful for restructuring your infrastructure management as it grows. Hands-on exercise. Set up a remote backend for state management using AWS S3 with encryption and DynamoDB for state locking. Module 4. Working with variables and outputs. Variables in Terraform. Variables allow you to define dynamic values in your configuration files. You can define input variables that allow flexibility, such as setting the size of an EC2 instance dynamically across environments. Variable validation helps catch potential misconfigurations early by enforcing types and constraints. Terraform outputs. Outputs provide a way to extract information from your infrastructure. They can be used to show the DNS of a newly created instance or share outputs with other Terraform configurations. Sensitive data handling. You need to be careful when dealing with sensitive data, e.g., passwords, keys. Terraform provides the ability to mask sensitive outputs to avoid logging such values in the console or state files. Use third-party tools like HashiCorp Vault to handle secrets management securely. Hands-on exercise. Define a reusable module that accepts variables for EC2 instance type and outputs the instance's public IP address. Module 5. Best Practices for Terraform Development Version Control for Terraform Store Your Terraform Configuration Files in Version Control Systems, like Git. This helps in maintaining a clear history of changes and facilitating collaboration between teams. Project Structure Break down configurations into logical components. A good file structure might separate resources into directories by their type, network, compute, storage, etc. Plan and review process. Running Terraform plan before applying ensures you understand the changes that will be made. Use CI-CD pipelines, discussed later, to automatically generate Terraform plan and review infrastructure changes before deployment. Immutable infrastructure. Best practices. Strive to avoid in-place modifications. When possible, it's better to recreate resources than update them in place to avoid introducing configuration drift or unexpected downtime. Managing Terraform Modules It's important to version your Terraform modules. Use version numbers to manage upgrades smoothly across environments. Place shared modules in their own repository and use semantic versioning. Testing Terraform Code Use Terraform Validate for Syntax Checking Use TerraTest to write automated tests for your infrastructure. Pre-commit hooks help in enforcing Terraform style guides, e.g. Terraform FMT, and preventing bad code from entering version control. Module 6. Implementing Terraform in CI-CD Pipelines Integrating Terraform with GitLab or GitHub Actions Terraform can be integrated with CI-CD pipelines to automate deployments. In GitLab, pipelines can automatically run Terraform commands based on changes in the code repository. Plan automation. You can configure pipelines to run Terraform plan on every pull request or commit to give developers visibility into infrastructure changes before they're merged. Best practices for pipeline implementation. Ensure that Terraform FMT, Terraform Validate, and Terraform plan run as part of your pipeline. This ensures code is formatted, valid, and reviewed before being applied. Automating state management in pipelines also helps ensure the consistency and security of your Terraform workflow. Hands-on exercise. Build a basic GitLab pipeline that triggers a Terraform plan on each pull request and deploys infrastructure changes after approval. Module 7. Advanced Terraform Concepts. Managing Complex Infrastructure. 
As infrastructure becomes more complex, you will need to carefully manage dependencies between resources. Terraform's Depends on Directive allows for precise control over resource creation order. Using Terraform Workspaces Workspaces allow you to use a single configuration file for multiple environments, e.g. development, staging, production. Each workspace has its own state file, which means you can manage multiple isolated versions of your infrastructure. Terraform Backends for Collaboration Shared state locking ensures multiple users aren't applying changes at the same time. When teams collaborate, this prevents race conditions and conflicts. Terraform Enterprise Terraform Cloud and Terraform Enterprise provide collaboration features, remote state management, and policy enforcement. It's great for organizations that need to scale their Terraform workflows across large teams. Module 8. Security and Governance with Terraform Security. Best practices apply the principle of least privilege when managing cloud infrastructure using Terraform. For example, ensure that IAM roles and policies are as restrictive as possible. Use tools like AWS IAM and Azure RBAC with Terraform to ensure proper access control. Compliance and policy as code policy as code tools like Sentinel or Open Policy Agent, OPA, can be used to enforce compliance standards across infrastructure. Hands-on exercise. Write a simple policy with Sentinel to enforce a rule that no EC2 instance is created without tags. Module 9. Hands-on lab. Building a complete infrastructure design and implement. In this comprehensive hands-on lab, participants will design and implement a complete infrastructure setup. This includes networking, VPC, subnets, compute resources, EC2, RDS, and storage, S3, EBS. Best Practice Review This will serve as a capstone for applying all best practices discussed in the previous modules. Deploy the infrastructure use CI, CD to deploy the infrastructure, demonstrating a fully automated workflow. Module 10, Final Thoughts and Resources, Review of Best Practices this is a final wrap-up to reinforce the critical Terraform best practices, such as maintaining state, using modules, and integrating Terraform into CI-CD workflows. Additional tools and resources provide resources for further learning, such as HashiCorp's documentation, Terraform registry, and third-party tools like Atlantis for automatic Terraform workflows, and TerraGrunt for managing Terraform configurations at scale. Questions and discussion open session for participants to ask questions, share experiences, and discuss specific issues they've encountered with Terraform. This training will equip participants with a comprehensive understanding of Terraform and how to use it effectively in real-world cloud environments. By mastering these best practices, they will be prepared to implement Terraform across teams and organizations confidently. Kindly like, share, and subscribe for more.